Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Thursday night, Friday tomorrow, 1043 p.m. California time here. December 26, 2024 is the date. Uh, latest activity here on the globe shows a 2.0 open to Alaska. Also, a pretty deep earthquake here into the Izu Trench. Looks like a 4.3. Now, it's possible this earthquake may be uh, the earthquake that's being reported here on the USGS map as well. Uh, 377 miles deep there for that quake. So we got uh, some movement going on out here for sure. The deeper quakes obviously adding some strain out here uh, against the surface levels. Looks like there was a handful of earthquakes here in the afternoon time period as well uh, in the Izu Islands. 5.7 and a 4.5, relatively shallow up here. So uh, strain obviously is being produced out here across this area of the plate boundary. We'll watch that because most of the time when things uh, take an elevated turn up here, we'll see this area light up uh, with some larger quake activity. Uh, this 4.7 in the uh, Taiwan area from early this morning. So we'll continue to watch that, uh, see if anything kicks up following that uh, recent activity out here on the eastern side of the Philippines plate. For California, a little swarming going on here uh, in the last couple weeks around the San Andreas Fault, the creeping segment here, including a 3.1 in the mix. If we bring up the last seven days here, uh, you'll see this little swarm I'm talking about, specifically right there on the uh, creeping section of the San Andreas Fault. Nothing big coming in there now. Most of the time, we don't see any large earthquake activity on the creeping segment, hence the creeping section name. Uh, most of the time, the strain builds up north and then south here with... Um, slip being produced uh, with periodic earthquakes there on any given day uh, but the locked areas up north obviously under strain and area south as well uh, so we'll continue to keep an eye on that region southern california handful of smaller quakes there really nothing big going on for 2.5 and above pretty quiet one more earthquake there in the san joaquin valley 2.8 underneath the region aside from that general small microquake activity out there today uh, Northern California, roughly about the same. Only one earthquake here coming in to the to the uh, Petrolia station, and that's a 2.5. Little spike there on the Petrolia right now. Nothing big uh, for the uh, Pacific Northwest. Relatively quiet. Let me pull up the Trimmer map here this evening. See what we have for Trimmer. Got about 14 epicenters here along the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Nothing big. Just a little bit of movement down there under, underneath the area. Uh, nothing major there across the Intermountain West regions here. Pretty quiet. Yellowstone uh, quiet as well. A uh, quick glance here at the Yellowstone overview confirms the uh, quietness out there. Uh, Texas activity, aside from some severe weather out there today, goodness, seen a couple tornadoes, big time, big tornadoes actually, out there in uh, eastern Texas today. Uh, earthquake activity limited to the oil fields. A little bit of newer movement out here in the northern mid-Atlantic ridge. It's a pretty decent earthquake out here, 5.9. Oh, in the... Um, Looks like the Hayes Fracture Zone, a series of strike-slip boundaries, also uh, some spreading seafloor center boundaries out here as well. Hawaii, uh, most of the activity has halted here. This is from earlier, an image when it was still light out. Um, only a, a glimmer of some volcanic gases there. Uh, this image is fairly recent. Uh, looks a little bit more lit up than um, than the other one, but it looks like it's just a little hot spot area down here that's glowing or uh, illuminating on the uh, nighttime camera. I don't believe the eruption is still going on there. It's just uh, just some hot spots. Um, let's go check it out though. Let's see what we have. Uh, this update was put out uh, today, earlier this morning. No, no new update since then. Uh, they just talked about the pause there for the secondary time. Uh, only weak bubbling and drain back present afterwards. So um, a little pause. But if you look here, inflation of the summit, 
following the shutdown indicates right an obvious return of potential of eruption there across the Kilauea volcano. So things are uh, quite dynamic, but it looks like it's limited right now to the uh, the lava lake area deformation data. We'll check this out here real quick. Here's a most recent uh, eruption. Notice the decline in uh, the chart here. Deflation followed by almost immediate inflation there. Uh, nothing big. There's our first uh, eruption there on the 23rd, then the secondary one, and now we're starting to go back up. We'll watch this and see how this plays out. Uh, looks like we may see another Another uh, short-lived eruption there soon across the area of the Kilauea volcano. Not a whole lot of earthquake activity um, with that movement right now. As uh, far as anything major going on here across the globe, as noted, just keep an eye there on Japan area. Uh, some deeper movement uh, activity occurring around the Izu Trench. New Zealand, a couple deeper earthquakes there underneath the uh, North Island region. Aside from that, typical earthquake elevated activity there across the Philippines a lot of that older activity so it looks like things are starting to back build here across the western area of the Pacific plate uh, nothing major going on here across the rest of the world some activity out there in um, uh, down across the uh, divergent zone here or rip boundary here in Ethiopia this may be associated with that um, there was a little bit of volcanic activity or they thought it was volcanic activity here in the last couple months of course, rip boundaries, right? That's where you're going to find the uh, volcano activity. Some movement scattered out and about here across the uh, the Great Rift Valley there across Ethiopia. Spreading, uh, spreading that land apart slowly but surely. As uh, far as space weather activity goes, things are on the uh, calm side for now. Not seeing any major flare activity. We do have a number of of sunspots out here today uh, quite a few and uh, a lot of these are directly pointing at this planet so uh, anything that does blast off there will be almost certainly geo effective nothing major for now in terms of the aurora forecast there's our flare threat 99 percent chance for a c flare elevate well 10 percent chance for an x flare that's decent uh in flare at 75 Hard to tell on the complexity model here with the black and white image. Um, man, yeah, I kind of miss this colored image here, so hopefully that will come back soon. But overall, nothing uh, nothing major going on there on the sun for now. Uh, a look at the storm reports here. See if they have this listed today, which they, they do. A number of tornadoes out there. Seeing quite a few of the... You know, the big time storm chasers out there on YouTube um, streaming some uh, very photogenic tornado activity today. Six or eight reports here of tornadoes across uh, Texas area and Louisiana. So, of course, that was uh, that was called for today, right? They had forecasted that in the Storm Prediction Center forecast. And it still remains throughout the evening, it looks like, with a slight risk for some severe weather. <coughs> 5% and 2% chance there of tornado activity. Some wind and hail threats in there as well. Uh, as we look at tomorrow in the daytime, obviously that's going to shift a little bit further uh, south and east with only a marginal risk there for some severe weather. A little 2% chance of tornado activity around the Alabama area, maybe portions of Florida as well. So just a heads up. Uh, storm system number, I don't know if this is our last storm or if we got one more after this. I think we got one more, but providing some decent moisture out here across the higher elevated areas. There in the uh, valley where I'm at, we're actually in a rain shadow right now. So we're not picking up a whole lot of rain. Rain uh, west and east of us, obviously, because of the terrain, terrain being elevated. Quite a bit falling up there. Snow in the higher elevations above 6,000, 7,000 feet. And, um, man, look at all that moisture coming in here uh, this weekend across this area of the country. That's a lot. Uh, potential severe weather set up there as well. Uh, but another storm system there across California as we head towards the end of the year. And, uh, you know, 2025, it's just a couple days away, folks. So, you know, the, the pattern out here looks a little 
not cool. Uh, with a massive high pressure system out here across the area of the west. Uh, what that is doing is pushing the storm track way up north and then the jet stream bringing, the, uh, bringing it back down here with some colder air across the eastern portion of the country. Uh, but man, that high pressure is in a bad spot here, keeping all the storms away from the west coast. So hopefully that changes here. See if we can get that to change. Uh, aside from that, folks, I um, hope everyone has a good night. Tomorrow is Friday, of course. Um, not a whole lot going on out there in Nevada. Still some aftershock sequences here. No big earthquake activity in California for now. Just, uh, it's a whole process, folks. It's, you know, it's, sometimes it looks like things are elevated out here, right, in terms of seeing larger scale potential. Then it backs off or we see some larger scale activity out here. Seems like that 7.3 we had out here in the Vanuatu area switch the uh, um, the pressure out here across the uh, uh, North American and the Pacific plate boundary here that's California ever since that 7.3 struck there in the Vanuatu region things have dropped out here in terms of elevated activity but there's still there's still some movement to you know definitely keep an eye on that can change in a blink of an eye a little bit of swarming still around that uh, area of the San Andreas fault so We'll see what happens. Have a good night, folks, and we'll catch you guys out here a little bit later on tomorrow for the Friday morning update.